This week I'm working on block number 13 of the Riley Blake Designs 2022 block challenge. This block is called Double Cross and it was designed by Sue Daly. I've really simplified the block for myself today and if you want to follow along, here's what I did. Basically, I'm going to treat all of these um, outside strips here as background and so I'm going to call them G and H. So what I did was I cut four G's and four H's I will not cut a K at all, and I'm only going to need um, two J uh, rectangles. I'm also making a big change in construction. Um, so instead of sewing my B squares to the E, I, D, J rectangles, I'm going to wait until um, these quadrants are complete and basically just add the B squares at the last possible moment. And I think this is really going to simplify the block. I've already sewn my four patches off camera because there were a lot of four patches last week and I, I felt like we all needed a break. So I did those off camera. For now, I'm going to set aside everything but my G and H and my four patches. I'm going to start by adding my H rectangles and they're going to go on in the same place on each block. Then I'm going to add my G's. So basically what we're doing is assembling a very simple um, log cabin. So I'll do all my H's um, and then I'll press them open. Then I'll add all my G's, press them open, and then I can move on to the next step. And I'm going to be pressing all these seams away from the four patch. I finished my first round of sewing and now I'm ready to finish off this corner. For my CA units, I'm going to start by adding the D rectangle and then I will add the E rectangle, and there should be two of these. And for my FA unit, I'm going to add my J rectangle and an I rectangle, and there will be two of these also. Okay, it's time for the big change. And this step is gonna be the same for each quadrant. So I'm gonna align each quadrant so that the background is on the top and the color is on the bottom and then I'm going to take my B pieces which have diagonal lines across the back and I'm going to pop them on the corners of each side with this line going straight up. Then I'm going to sew directly on the line and flip it out. There will be one noticeable difference between the way that I constructed this block and the way that Sue Daly constructed it. And it's going to look like this. So in Sue Daly's block, this little bit right here would be tucked in to the seam allowance. But in my version, it's going to um, overhang, I guess you might say, into this block. But it doesn't matter because eventually, um, when you sew that last seam, when you finish that edge, that extra bit is going to be sucked into the seam allowance. So here is my quarter inch um, seam line here, and you'll see it just is going to disappear, and it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> so it's going to look different at first, but it's going to end up the same. All my quadrants are done, and I'm ready to put it all together. So let's skip to the finished block. I am very pleased with the changes that I made to this block. I think adding the simple sew and flip corners at the very end really simplified the block and it made it feel effortless. I also think adding the background fabric around the border um, sort of softened the block and it really draws attention to the center uh, twinkly starry crossy thing. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.